limits. The gentleman from Maryland is recognized. Uh, and I yield myself as much time as I may consume. Gentleman's recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm very proud today to stand for this legislation with the party of democracy and freedom for the people rather than the party of Big Brother and failed drug authoritarianism. Do you know that 150 million Americans have used marijuana? Half of the country, and that's just the people who are being honest about it, half of the country has used marijuana, but you can still be denied security clearance and government employment for having once used marijuana. That is plainly stupid and wrong and unfair. And we are disqualifying tens of millions of qualified and excellent job applicants for federal government employment, our fellow citizens, our constituents in Democratic districts and Republican districts. We are disqualifying those people from being um, federal government employees solely because they've used marijuana. Um, my amendment is one that every member of the House should support. It says that Americans should not be denied a security clearance simply because they have used marijuana. You know, the longer I spend time in Congress, Mr. Speaker, the more I realize that in America, change comes from the states. It comes from the people. That's how, how we got child labor laws. That's how we got women's suffrage. That's how we got direct election of U.S. senators. And now so too with our draconian, obsolete, and failed marijuana laws. Look at what's happening out in America. 18 states plus Washington, D.C. have now passed laws allowing adult use of marijuana. In other words, they've accepted the anti-prohibition principle that's in our Constitution. It's not that alcohol is so great for everybody in every circumstance or marijuana is so great for everybody in every circumstance. It's that criminal prohibition and criminalization of large parts of our own population doesn't work. So it's legal in 18 states. In 27 states, it's been decriminalized. In a majority of the states, it's no longer criminal. And in 36 states, the vast majority of America, more than two-thirds of the states, uh, medical use of marijuana has been approved. In other words, it is legal in the vast majority of states of the country to use marijuana for medicinal purposes. What a massive outbreak of common sense in America against the GOP's failed authoritarian war on marijuana that depends on paranoid tropes from the 1970s. It's like they saw reefer madness in middle school and never got over it. I concede our party is not for the kind of cocaine-fueled orgies that a freshman Republican representative bragged about this week, but we do understand that their marijuana prohibition laws don't work for our people. But in any event, Mr. Speaker, we can all agree that we should not be denying our constituents the opportunity to serve in federal office by denying them security clearance simply because they've used marijuana. I reserve.